Okay, here we've been asked to find the equation of the line that passes through 1, 5 and 6, 11. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the gradient. The gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we've got x1, y1, x2, y2. So we're just going to sub these numbers in to find the gradient. So we've got 11 minus 5 over 6 minus 1. So that means the gradient is 6 over 5. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the equation of a line. The equation of a line, the equation of any line, linear line, straight line, y equals mx plus c. So I've got y equals m is now 6 fifths. So 6 fifths x plus c. So now I need to find out what c is, find out what the y-intercept is. So I'm going to substitute in either one of these pairs of numbers. So I'm going to use these ones. So I'm going to go y is 5, x is 1. So 5 equals 6 fifths times 1 plus c. So 5 is 6 fifths. Because 6 fifths times 1 is 6 fifths plus c. Now, so I need to find out what C is. I've got a fraction to deal with here. Uh, there are different ways of dealing with it. If you don't like fractions, the easiest way is to times through by 5. So just multiply each term here by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. 6 fifths times 5, that just gets rid of the 5. So it just becomes 6. And C times 5, that makes it 5C. So now I need to get what C on its own. So I'm going to get rid of the 6, so minus 6 on both sides first. That's going to give me 19 equals 5C. And then divide both sides by 5. And that will tell me C is 19 over 5. So then I can use this equation here and change it to 6 fifths X plus 19 over 5. Now, sometimes you might be asked to give the answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. And if they do that, that just means we need to get rid of the fractions and make it equal to zero. So to get rid of the fractions, like we did before, we times every term by five. So I'm going to multiply through by five. Y times five is five y. Six fifths times five, that just gets rid of the, of the five on the bottom, the denominator. And 19 fifths times 5, which is 19. Then we're going to take away the 5y from both sides. That'll make it equal to 0. So minus 5y plus 19 equals 0. So either one of those are correct. If they ask you to put in this form, you have to do that. Otherwise, this is fine. Okay, so here we've got another example. Find the equation of a line that passes through 4, 2 and 6 minus 5. So again, the equation of the line is in the form y equals mx plus c. And we're going to find the gradient first. So we've got x1, y1, x2, y2. So the gradient, m, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's minus 5 minus 2 over 6 minus 4. So that's minus 7 over 2. So the gradient is minus 7 over 2, so we've got y equals minus 7 over 2, x plus c. Then we're going to substitute in some of these numbers, and that's going to tell us what c is. So we'll use 4 and 2, because they're, they're easier numbers. So 2 equals minus 7 over 2 times 4 plus c. So let's look at simplifying minus 7 over 2 times 4. Well, if you're times in fractions, remember this 4, 4, it's a normal 4, as a fraction is 4 over 1. So we just times the top and times the bottom. That's how you times fractions. So minus 7 times 4 is minus 28, and 2 times 1 is 2. That can even be simplified further, because um, we can do 28 divided by 2. So that's just minus 14. And then we just plus 14 to both sides, 
So we'll get 16 is C. So y equals minus 7 over 2x plus 16. Um, and again, if they want it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, we times everything by 2. So we times each term by 2. 2y is minus 7x plus 32. And we'll make x positive. So we'll take both of these terms onto this side, or plus 7x and minus 32 from both sides. So 7x plus 2y minus 32 equals 0. So they are both the answer. Okay, here's two for you to try. So pause the video, give them a go, and then I'll go for the answers after. Okay, first step, we find the gradient. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. x1, y1, x2, y2. So we've got 10 minus 3 over 6 minus 2. So that is 7 over 4. So that's m, that's the gradient. So y equals 7 over 4x plus c. Substituting the 2, 3, because that's the, the easier set of numbers. So 3 equals 7 over 4 times 2 plus c. So it's 2 over 1. So we go to here. 3 equals 14 over 4 plus c. That can be simplified to 7 over 2. Divide top and bottom by 2. 7 over 2 plus c. Now I'm going to get rid of the fraction by multiplying through by 2. So every term gets multiplied by 2. So I've got 6 equals 7 plus 2 c's. So then subtract 7 from both sides. So minus 1 is 2 c. So c is minus a half. So we've got y equals 7 over 4 x minus 1 over 2. Now, if I need it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, I need to times through by 4. Times through by 4 because that will get rid of both the fractions. So multiply by 4, I've got 4y is 7x. And then half times 4, 4 times a half. Half of 4 is 2. So I've got 7x minus 4y minus 2 equals 0. And the second one here again, same steps. So m is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I've got x1, y1, x2, y2. So I've got 6 minus minus 8 and 1 minus minus 4. So that would be 14 over 5. So we've got m is 14 over 5. y equals 14 over 5x plus c. I'll use these coordinates. They're easier. So 6 equals 14 over 5 times 1 plus c. So 6 is 14 over 5 plus c. So I'm going to multiply, multiply through by 5. That's going to give me... Um, which I write it? I could probably fit in here. So 30, 6 times 5, equals 14 plus 5c. So I need to get c by itself, so I take off the 14 first, which is going to give me 16 equals 5c, and then divide through by 5. So 16 over 5 is c. That means y equals 14 over 5 plus x, sorry, plus 16 over 5. And again, if I want it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, I'll times by 5. So 5y equals 14x plus 16, which means 14x minus 5y plus 16 equals 0.